What up folks, Alex here, and in today's video, we're gonna make one of these. Bing, a nice, simple, animated subscribe button. Now I know not all of you are YouTubers, that doesn't seem that useful, but we do cover a couple of things which are pretty transferable. So I'm gonna show you how to make a basic shape, fill it with a color, add some text, merge them all together, and then animate it with a transform node. Now, if you don't actually fancy making this yourself, or you just want the template to get you started, check in the description, there's a link, you can go and download my Fusion Composition to do whatever you like with. Now, quickly before we get into it, just want to let you know that Blackmagic are actually taking a tour bus around Europe at the minute, and you can register for a completely free two-hour training session from Blackmagic themselves. So the links are in the description below, you can go check it out and you can go register your interest. And a buddy of mine by the name of John has actually already been on one and he's made a little video showing you what they're all about, so you can click on that up here, it's also down in the description. Right, with that out of the way, let's open Resolve and I'll show you what we're doing. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve, we're on the Edit tab. Now, before you do anything, as always, make sure to set your timeline frame rate correctly because the animations we all set in Fusion will be linked to that frame rate. So with that out of the way, let's get straight to it. First up, open the effects library, expand the toolbox, go down to effects, and then grab a fusion composition and add it to your timeline. Now you need to set the length of this fusion composition to be the length that you want the subscribe button to appear on screen. So maybe you want it to be quite quick and just be there for 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 15, whatever you want. Just adjust this fusion composition accordingly. I'm going to go for about 10 seconds. Once that's done, head into Fusion. So this is Fusion. First thing to do, click on Clips and make sure to select the Fusion Composition. You can then close the clips down. And the only things we do need to open at the moment are Nodes and the Inspector. So we've got our media out here. The first thing we need to do is to create our button, our overall shape. And we're going to do that using two different nodes. So we're going to use a rectangle mask, which is here. So we're just going to give that a click, drag that onto our node like so. And then we're going to grab this one here, which is a background node. So the mask, the rectangle is the shape, and then the background is the color, essentially. So we're going to pop that down here. And then we're just going to link them up. So we're going to drag the rectangle to the background, and then the background to the media out. And then you should see something like this appear within your preview window. So first up, let's just click on the background. And then in the inspector, you've got this color picker here. Just make this the YouTube red. Something about that looks about right. And then click on the rectangle. And we just need to change the shape. And you can do that by either clicking on the corners and you can drag, you can click on the edges, do it like that. Or within the inspector, you can just change these fields here like so. So we're just going to guesstimate for the time being. We can adjust this more in a moment. And we're going to go down to this corner radius and we're just going to increase that to just round out these corners so it looks more like the YouTube style button we're used to. So now we just need to add our text. So again, from the tools across here, it's this one you want, this T, and you just want to drag it down to this point here until the line goes blue and yellow, and then you can release. And what it will actually do is just put a merge node in there for you with the text, which is exactly what we want. Then if we click on text, in the inspector again, in the styled text, I'm just gonna type subscribe, and then change the color if yours isn't already white, mine's already white, so that's perfect. And then we're just gonna increase the size. So we're gonna go quite big, go for about that, which is perfect. And now, but our text is where we want it. The button looks okay, but I wanna make some fine little adjustments to it. So I'm gonna go back to my rectangle mask, and we're just gonna bring that in a bit. There we go. So we've made a real simple, real quick subscribe button. Now, if you don't wanna bother with the animations, you just want the button, then you're done. If we head back to the edit tab, you can see you've got your big subscribe button, if we give that a click, open up the inspector, or just use this little icon here, we can just size this subscribe button as we need it, put it wherever we want, and there we go. If we do want to do the animation, head back into Fusion, and we're going to use a transform node. Now, because we want to control all of these nodes in one go, 
we need to make sure the transform node appears in the pipeline after the merge node. So we're just going to drag this one out a little bit. We're going to grab a transform node, which is this one right here. We're going to drag that onto this line and then release. And now if we just click the transform node in the inspector, if we change the size or change the aspect or the angle, as you can see, it's affecting everything. The mask, the background, the text, which is what we want. So let's just reset that. Now for the animation, all we want is it to start at zero and then pop in and then pop back out again. So it's a real simple animation. Underneath the preview, you've got all your frames here. The number of frames will differ on the frame rate and the length of your fusion composition. And I'm going to go down to 10 frames. Now at 24 frames per second, 10 frames works well. If you've got a higher frame rate, you'll just need to increase that. So if you're shooting at 60 frames per second, for example, sort of double that and add a bit. So something like 25 would probably work well, but you're free to experiment as you need to be. So I'm going to go to my 10th frame. And then we're just going to click on this little diamond here next to size to add a keyframe. But we're not actually going to adjust anything at all. We're just going to leave it as it is. We're then going to go to our zero frame. So the very beginning, and then we're just going to change our size to zero. So it begins at nothing. You can't see it. And then it just pops into life. So if we hit play, the subscribe button pops up like that. Then we're just going to do the opposite, go right to the end. My last frame is 252. So let's just go back 10 frames to 242. Do the exact same thing. So we're going to hit that to add a keyframe, but we're not going to make any adjustments. Then we're going to go right to the end, drag that down to zero. And that's it. You're done. So if we head into the edit tab and we can just play this down, the subscribe button pops up and then just pops back down at the end. Super easy, super simple, a nice quick subscribe button. And that's it. I hope that was useful. If it was, as always, thumbs up, any comments or feedback down below, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.